Hello everybody and welcome to another Nail Talk Live. Coming from the heart of the Netherlands to the heart of the nail technician, we share our passion for nails and tonight is going to be a cool really passionate evening yeah but really yeah we have a, a lot, lot of a lot of fun a lot of cool demos perfect beautiful designs yeah, yeah yeah and you're also going to show us something yeah something that we taped for the dutch show but mm -hmm. you're going to do an english voiceover today yeah 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 that's probably a strange thing to do to do a do a voice over over yourself yeah, well, uh, I will get back to you on that. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Yeah, yeah we didn't <laughs> practice that yet. No. But and I see that you have long nails. Yeah, uh, under construction. One long and one short. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully uh, this Friday I can do uh, the other hand. Yeah. Yeah, and it's uh, Louboutin inspired, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So the back side um, are uh, red, yeah. uh, leopard print, and red. Yeah. Very cool. Mm. Perhaps you have to make a photo of your nails and post them in the Nail Talk Live group on Facebook. Cool. Uh, but today we're of course joined by our international expert trainers and they're showing us great and amazing nails. And the first one is a dear friend of ours. Yeah. And that is our very own Natalia Gritsenka. And she's showing us how to create a modern element with glitter and a kind of a, a white effect. Yeah. Kind of lace. A, a lace looking yeah. design over. Well, let's oh. see. Enjoy. <laughs> So Natalia is using red gel polish. I think this is May's Choice 2019. Know she your colors. Very good. And she already created uh, with power gel the nail bed and of course the extension edge mm -hmm. with a power gel clear. And then correcting everything to make it beautiful and sharp. And now one of the once upon a glitter gel polishes. And these were special colors that we launched last year for yep. Christmas. Yes. And this is one of the colors. I think it's Dorothy. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, it's a little bit darker, but six uh, colors were there. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, beautiful glitter. She faded that out, and now she's taking Tinkerbell, which is the really yeah. bright one. I love this one. To I fade it all. back over it. Yeah, that is a cool effect. Yeah, it's ombre. Yeah. Did you ever imagine five years ago that Never. we would use gel polishes to create ombre Never. effect in in the designs? That was no yeah. no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but it's absolutely. possible, and yeah. it's so amazing. You can do so many other cool stuff now. Of course, cure it in between yeah. Yeah, to make sure that every layer is cured before you continue with the next application. When you are happy with it, we have to seal and cover the sculpt the body of the nail using power gel clear. You could also use, for instance, standard, standard builder gel. Builder. Yeah. Yeah, or even acrylic. Yeah, yes, of course. Back in the old day, you were never allowed to use strange combinations of mm -hmm. products, but nowadays everybody's very creative and they're delving in, finding their perfect combinations. And it all works. It's so cool. Make sure that when you work with power gel that you don't make the nail too thick. The nail bed is already filed and everything is done. So it's just a matter of sculpting the total upper arch to the tip or the hairline of the nail. As you can see, she's using an acrylic brush, a Prestige number 10, because it's softer and you have more easier control. When everything is cured, in between pinch the nail, mm -hmm. but when it's cured, finish file the nail and then finish the nail using Supreme Finish. Supreme Finish is a super high shine top gel without sticky layer and it's very flexible, so you can even use it on a natural nail That's during a manicure. Yeah. Be careful though not to apply it too thin, because if you apply it too thin, it sometimes uh, opens up a little bit and yeah. it gets little dull spots. That's true. Extreme white gel. This is an old yeah. timer. It's an old jar, but that's because, of course, Natalia is in Ukraine yeah. and she's using her stock, but she's using extreme white gel, which is a very white um, gel that also cures without a sticky layer. But don't use it too thick. If you use this gel too thick, If you use it too thick, um, you will get spots. It, it doesn't cure uh, perfectly. Yeah, and yeah, then mm -hmm. it bubbles. Yeah, it, it kind bubbles. of boils. Yeah. So work really thin. But it's also possible to work very thin because yeah. it's so opaque. It's yeah. so strong in, in pigment. And we are going. To, she's creating kind of like pebbles. Yeah, like bubbles. It's a cool effect. 
and using the Catalina's choice. Yeah, she now connects perfect. everything. Yeah. Making sure that the outlines of the design is softer, so not, not that riggedy. That you, is cool. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a very interesting color combination. And before you cure this, use some a prestige acrylic powder, white powder, and sprinkle this in the wet extreme white top gel. And you will get really an, an, an a velour kind of yeah a velour 3D effect yeah yeah that's really cool yeah and it gives it an acrylic look without the hassle of having to do it with acrylic yeah. because that would be quite difficult when everything is cured so take two and a half minutes to cure everything and then remove the excess acrylic powder super cool yeah the contrast of the mud the velour, as you say, and then the shiny glitters underneath and that beautiful nail bed. I mean, oh, just love a yummy that. design. Yeah, really love the colors. Beautiful, Natalia. Built by a real technical nail artist, Natalia. Follow her on Instagram or on Facebook. She has beautiful ideas and she also discovered recently the macro function of her oh, camera yeah. and she's making macro pictures of, of beautiful yeah, yeah, beautiful it's pictures great. yeah so with her fiber uh, coat yeah and then you can see because she's really zooming in you can see all of the fiber particles in inside the fiber coat it's really cool and now with yeah. the glitter yeah with the glitter with the glass gels with the also glass gels and oh, the opals yeah Beautiful. So, if you yeah. want to see beautiful photos, <laughs> also visit <laughs> Natalia's uh, page, of course. Uh, it has been quite a week. Last week we launched our new colors, mm. and one of our favorites is mm -hmm. majestic blue. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. The color of royalty. Yeah. And if you didn't see it last week, let's have another look at the commercial Gillian made for the majestic blue. And the music is so sweeping. It's like a waves of emotions rolling over you, taking you away to a kingdom far away called Magnetic Nail Design. <laughs> <laughs> Anyho, one of our other artists is, of course, Julia Koncherova. Yes, yes. With her beautiful flowers. Yeah. And she already, um, well, let us look at two of yeah. these designs. And now the third one, I think the red flower yeah, the red one. Beautiful. So, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, she's using Shrita Sweeties, Sweeties as a base. Okay. And then some contrast at the cuticle. And blending it out. Yeah. An ombre effect. Mm -hmm. Chameleon flakes. Oh, I love those. Oh, yeah. And she's using a ton sur ton, so color on color. Yeah. I love that. And the transparent chameleon flakes are, of course, one of our best sellers. White flake. Ah, she's going to go over the flakes with the natural white color fiber coat. We have an extreme white and mm -hmm. we have a more natural yeah. one. This is the more natural one. Uh, sometimes you see the color combination and you think to yourself, or the product combinations, and you think to yourself, huh? Yeah. But it leads to the best creations. She's now using uh, the neon pigment like she did last week, and then sh first applying the white gel and then put pushing it into the wet gel. So she mixes it on the nail, mm -hmm. which is also quite unusual. Yeah, and it turns pastelish neon. Now she starts the outline of the design in a mixed color, black with uh, red, otherwise it would be too harsh. Mm -hmm. 
also reminds me of space. Yeah. That is cool. And she's using Katarina's choice. Katarina's choice. Which is perfect when you want to uh, work with color gels. Ah, look at how that. It's it's quite abstract. Yeah. But still, and if you combine that with the deeper color on yeah. the other nails, it's just... That's amazing. Julia Gonshirova, yeah. you should follow her on Instagram and Facebook. She's really... Uh, well, she posts a lot. Yeah, mostly videos. Yeah. And she really has her own style. And, and you see her develop that style. Yeah. And, and then she finds a trick. And then she uses that in many different ways. Yeah. And it's really... Amazing. Oh, Every time it's like, what is she going to do? What yeah. is she going to do? Oh, <laughs> that's what she's doing. Uh, Julia Konjurova is one of our expert trainers as well. Mm -hmm. um, but you are our Dutch queen of nail art. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> and we've been working together a lot, of course, all these shows, but also going live. And you've made uh, examples of all the stamping plates, etc. And in the Dutch version, the Dutch show, you always have your own demo. Yeah. And we tape that demo, but we never use that internationally because it's in Dutch. Yeah. So this time we recut it and we're going to try out if this works to see how you show and how you do your beautiful bumblebee, mm -hmm. but then with your own voice over. Yeah. So this is a graffiti design and my first love, uh, hand painting. Yeah. So let's have a look. So I'm working with master paints and I really love to, uh, to mix my colors. And I'm adding water and I'm mixing uh, the yellow and the orange together to get an ochre yellow. And with the detailer 3, I'm just sketching um, the shape of my, my bee, my little bumblebee. And I'm using a stiletto tip so I have more canvas. And just well, this is the face, just the outlines, and just shaping my element. And because the Detailer 3 is a bigger brush, and it's more easy for you to, uh, to draw in all of the big elements. Do you also sometimes use a pencil to first draw yes. out your design? Yes, I do that too, because on, uh, on camera it's, it's mostly not really uh, hard, um, good to see. Yeah. So if the outlines are already there for the viewers at home, it's more uh, easy to see, to follow yeah. all of my... To follow the steps. The steps, yeah. I remember one uh, when you made Tigger. I oh yeah, it was Tigger, that was one. And we were filming that and I was like, uh, the demo took half an hour and like for 20 minutes I didn't yeah. understand what you were donuts. doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm adding already a little bit of shade and now uh, adding the crown on top of my bee with the more darker ochre yellow. And again with my detailer 3 and just sketching. And do this uh, with uh, more water in the design. So, so it's more translucent. Yeah. And you can always add more color later on. So now my favorite brush uh, when I work with Master Paints, the Master Detailer. I really love that brush. I'm just outlining all of my elements. Something that I noticed uh, actually today is that when you work with color gels, you work from the stone palette. But when you work with your master paint, you work from the paper palette. Yeah, that is, is true. Is there a specific reason for that? Because uh, the master paints are um, will dry faster on mm -hmm. their stone palette. Oh. Yeah. So okay. it's more uh, on the paper palette uh, better. You can work longer. Cool. And that's the little nose? Yeah, tiny nose. So the eyelids. And the eye. There's big eyes. Because so it's also cartoonish. Yeah, huh? it's kind of cartoonish. Little wing. So later on you can uh, fix things that yeah. you've uh, added with the yellow. So my eye is a little bit bigger and I can put in uh, some white again to fix mm. my mistake. So a little arm, and I always work um, 
well, letting uh, elements fall off of my nail. So I don't have to uh, paint all of the arm, but just create the illusion that there's a whole arm. Yeah, that makes it also more fun. Mm. Yeah. Otherwise it's so static. Yeah. It's like yeah. uh, you put on a little water decal or mm -hmm. something. And this is again a uh, master paint black? Yeah, master paint black. And I'm using the detailer two, I think. It's a bigger element. If you do that with uh, the master detailer, it will take longer. So the eye. It's quite a sassy little bumblebee, yeah? Yeah, it is. I love sassy little animals. And also outlining the pupils. The pupils, yeah. With master paint black. And of course, a highlight in an eye yeah. needs to be there. And then your eye pops. So cool, Jessica. Does this just come to you in a dream? Yeah, sometimes it does and I can't sleep. It's really... <laughs> yeah, oh, that's true. You're now taking gold. Gold, yeah, because the crown needs a little bit of gold, of course. And you can do this with um, pigments as well. That's really cool, too. Yeah. So adding a little bit of blue to get more contrast in my design. And just blending it out using uh, wet drops mm -hmm. at first and wipe your brush off and then blend out towards the outside of so the So you eye. dry your brush yeah. so that it absorbs a little bit of the wet paint that yeah. you can then blend out. Yeah, but I um, dry my brush on my wet nail wipe. Yeah, so, so not I fill dry, it dry. No, I fill it with water motion. again. Yeah. yeah. So again, the white drops, the wet drops, and just blend out behind my uh, beam. Are you working on extreme mud, or did yes. you buff the surface? I always buff my surface, yeah. When, okay. I use, uh, when I work with master paints, I always buff, because my surface needs to be really rough. And with my uh, extreme mud, it is already mud and buffed, um, but not buffed enough, okay. not mud enough, yeah. Hmm. But that's a personal... Uh, yeah, what you prefer. What I prefer, yeah. Ah, there it is. Oh, yeah. All mm. of a sudden, bam-bam. <laughs> Super cool. Thank you. Oh, my. Yeah, that's one of those designs. I really love this. Really colorful, poppy designs. Yeah. Yes to impress. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> How would you combine that when you do this in the nail studio? Um, yeah, with black. <laughs> uh, yeah, of, of course. course. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes stupid questions yeah. do exist. No, I really love. So, for instance, this bumblebee um, has yellow. Yeah. So maybe, um, of course, black to ground yeah. my uh, design and a little bit of ochre. I really love that. Or a little bit of blue because there's blue in my design as well. Mm -hmm. I really love to get um, a whole design. Yeah. So the color should be already in the design. Yeah. The color you wear next uh, to your design. Yeah. Okay. In the yeah. Dutch show, you showed us uh, this afternoon how you create limes, juicy, freshly squeezed limes, yeah. uh, together with the majestic blue, and of you course. used the new colors for that. Yeah, yeah. I'm painting in um, my uh, s my stamp with uh, gel polishes, and uh, well, you should look uh, later on on YouTube. All of this uh, will be um, just a demo, yeah. of course. And uh, go and see, because the new stamping place is coming out, yeah. uh, 6th and 7th of June, say it correctly, yeah? uh, To Kill Your Sunrise. That's one of the new stamping places mm -hmm. who are coming out, who have uh, cocktails, um, ice, ice cream, uh, fruit, of course. Really cool. And it's really a trend to make create fruit on nails. It we is. see that uh, all over the world yeah. happening. Yeah. Perhaps because it reminds us of summer. Yeah. It reminds us of lounging on the beach. It reminds us of having a summer cocktail mm -hmm. in the sun.
So contact your local distributor to get your summer cocktails so that you and your clients can look at your hands during the upcoming months and just imagine having a Bloody Mary in the setting sun. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Love that. Well, I also love working with these colors. It, it's uh, quite overpowering. It is. It's like, whoa. Yeah. But at it's the same time. It's beautiful and it oh. screams summer. So I love it. Yeah. yeah. In Holland, of course, we started selling these last week. Yeah. And we see a lot of people posting pictures and telling us that they're in love with the different colors. Yeah. Um, and we go to something else. Who? Yeah, yeah. aqua colors. About c speaking of colors, huh? Yeah. Yeah, aqua colors. Aqua colors are kind of like an alcohol-based ink. Yeah. And you and you showed us also how to work with it because you can use it in different ways. Mm -hmm. But uh, Julia Vorobieva is going to show us now how she's creating peony roses using those aqua colors. Beautiful. And yeah. we will talk you through it. Here we first see the aquarelle effect. This is uh, from a picture, a photo of aquarelle. And aquarelle, as you can see, is always a combination of a light white background and then very watery see-through colors. Mm -hmm. And of course, aqua colors work great for this. Great for that, yeah. She's using an, ar uh, an array of the different colors. Mm -hmm. And we have seven different colors of aqua colors. And she's going to use most of them. <laughs> <laughs> the base will be made with whitest white gel polish, which is a super opaque covering uh, white gel polish yeah. that you can even apply in one coat. Yes, yes. And, and extreme, extreme matte. matte top gel. You need that as a base uh, yeah. for your aqua colors. It's, it's really the contrast thing of the white and the see through. Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, do you do aquarelle designs? Uh, I have, um, how do you say it, sometimes, and everybody wants uh, uh, aquarelle. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. but now it's more um, poppy, vibrant colors because of the summer. Yeah. yeah. Mostly in springtime I do a lot of aquarelle. They're more soft designs. And yeah. It, it's good that you mentioned because uh, it's now summertime and if you want to use the aqua colors during summer, mm -hmm. it is important to seal them with a top gel with a high UV filter. Yeah. Because sometimes it can bleed out yeah. or bleach out a little yes. bit. Uh, she uh, used extreme mud, which is without a, a sticky layer, but she still cleansed the surface using nail cleanser to get a more coarser surface. Yeah. And with a pencil, or uh, she created the little outline, mm -hmm. and she's now going to make the branches of the flower. And she's doing this with uh, the black aqua yeah. colors. Very thin. And in the Depp and Dish, it's important to note that she has um, also nail cleanser in there that she uses to dilute the aqua colors at various moments during the design. So with the brush from her bottle, just add colors. And dapping, dapping. the shape. Mm -hmm. It's not really important that it's perfect now because she's going back. And you see she takes a little bit of yellow in the center applies it there and then takes the nail cleanser and pushes that on top of it and it bleeds to the side so it opens up in the middle. For most people this would already be enough. Yeah, it's already beautiful. So the trick with working with the aqua colors is the use of the, um, the substance that is in the Depp and Dish, nail cleanser or prep and wipe or alcohol or acetone, mm -hmm. because with that you can open parts of the design and you can guide it. And what she's now doing, she's actually wiping, opening little, the, the edges of the, the flower petals. petals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you have to clean your brush in between. Yes. And it's not a problem that it's on the palette that it dries in, eh? because you can... No, you can work uh, on and on, because every time you... T well, in this part, in this, uh, she's using nail cleanser. So mm -hmm. every time it gets in contact with nail cleanser again, it will uh, bleed, it will yeah. be more fluid again. Yeah. yeah. Of course, peony are different layers of flower petals over it, stacked on top of each other. And she's doing, creating that effect with the tip of her brush and really pushing into the design. And she's using the detailer one, I think? I think so. 
I can call it. The blue. And she mixed colors. that to create a teal effect. Oh, that is cool. And just blend it out. Creating some shadows. Yeah. Yeah, so many possibilities with the products. Just play around with it yeah. and discover your way of working with it. Because the different shapes, the different elements, everybody works in a different way. But you can really see the middle of the flowers that yep. they're, that they're uh, closing. domed and yep. closing in. Also, the shadow is not applied evenly, but it's, it's, it's thicker, thinner, more opaque, less opaque, a little bit see-through just to play around with that aquarelle effect. Yeah. And you could also do this with master paints. As of course, of course, yeah. And by wiping away the um, aquacolors, you will get the highlight on the edges of the flower yeah. petals. So the highlight, instead of doing that with white, you open it up so that the white shines through. And of course, air nail stop gel, because Julia Vorobieva loves air nail stop gel, but not applied with the Really, a, a stroking motion, no, but with a softer soft, yeah. touch. Otherwise, your um, your colors will well can bleed, can run, if you work with a more harder yeah, movement. It's beautiful, huh? And if you want to cap this with the extreme mats, always use the basin top first, or the UV top gel. Um, uh, no, the soak off top gel. Yeah. And then go with your extreme mat top gel. Why? Uh, because your extreme mud is real extreme and your colors will run. Yeah, yeah. they bleach out, they, eh? they bleach disappear. Out. Yes, they yes. disappear. Yeah. Of course, you're already following Julia Vorobieva on course. Instagram and Who Facebook. Huh? If you're not, do. Because she yeah. posts every day good morning, friends, and then she has another design. Another. She didn't sleep. No. Again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know it's where she gets time. her energy from. Yeah, wow. And really, and always three. Or yeah. four <laughs> designs. The whole composition. Yeah. <laughs> but really beautiful things. Yeah. And she's a great artist. And of course, when everything is back to normal, we will ask her to come to Holland to give a master class. Oh, yeah. But also to work together with us in the studio. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. So last but not least. Yes. Our little one, as yeah. you call her. Huh? Yes, as we call her. As you <laughs> we traveled a lot with Katarina Concha, we went to Bologna, we went everywhere, everywhere with Katarina, and she's really smaller, yeah. um, but she's also a great trainer. She's, yeah. I've she's known her now for, I think, 12 years. Mm -hmm. She was my interpreter when I was in Russia, uh, uh, Ukraine, and she, she's working from home now, also making videos for yeah. us, and she is one of the air nails gurus. Yes, yes, I've learned the uh, air nails from uh, my dear friend Katarina Gonciar, and uh, I had so much fun with her. Uh, three days, uh, she came in and uh, she learned me and Anjo uh, all of her tips and tricks, and I fell in love with air nails because of her. And uh, we always say uh, we are a dream team because we work really cool together. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really feel that too. Yeah. So I love her. I love them all. But we can uh, look now at a demo of Katarina Goncher doing her air nails magic. Okay, this is a special lace. It's just a baby uh, towel. Uh, a baby wipe? A baby wipe. A but dry a drive, baby wipe. Yeah. yeah. So a black background. I always buff that surface before I go uh, spray on top. Mm -hmm. And just adding a white, well, a white line. It almost looks like a spider's web. Yeah. You can do really cool, amazing Halloween designs using this uh, special mm. lace as well. Okay. And something that most of us have uh, at handy in the studios. Yeah. <laughs> so little balls, snowballs as we call. On two points. And another color where still uh, is a white left. Uh -huh. Because she's working with transparent colors, uh, that's why she first put the white and then go over with the colors. But it is really cool, eh? Yeah. So again, transparent. So it doesn't matter that you go over your black because it falls. You don't see it on black. Hmm. Just on your white. 
and add some Very purple. unusual. It, it oh, almost wow. looks like a wet and wet technique, but then with uh, air nails. Yeah, and then the splitting with the brush. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, so that just a little adding dots. a drop of white and just splitting, and then you have little stars. That's cool, huh? And yeah. really fast. Yeah, this is really fast. Yeah, a spacey design. I love it. Katarina Concia, you should follow her on Instagram. So that was already yeah, the that show. Was it? Yeah. Friday evening, Nail Talk Live. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed um, yeah. the different demonstrations. Try out uh, different combinations of products. Yeah. Find your own special way of working with the product. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I hope I have inspired you and um, be sure to watch the Dutch version as well. Well, the demo, then uh, you will see what we are we're talking or about. This Tuesday, or? the 2nd of June at oh, yeah. 8 o'clock Dutch time. So the time here in Holland at 8 o'clock on Facebook in the Nil Talk live group. Yeah. I will go live with Shiriza and she will show us how to create the Russian almond nail. Yeah. And, uh, of course, it's in Dutch, but if you join us and let us know that you're there, then we will also narrate in English and talk you through how to create a beautiful, amazing Russian modern almond nail. Yeah, but then again, we can speak the language of nails, so just by looking, you will learn a lot as well. Yes, that's true. Hmm? That's true. Yeah. Thank you for watching us yes. and enjoy our last commercial because magnetic is magnetic. We have everything for hands and that also means a beautiful manicuring product that you can use on your hands but also in your feet, on your whole body. Just get seduced by seduction by magnetic. <laughs>